Hi, and welcome to a quantum astrology report for the period the 26th to the 30th of March 2018 with me, Eva Christopherson from Sweden. Uh, this is a great period with a lot of planets, including Sun in the quantum. I am the creation from within Aries. The moon will be end of Cancer, and then going into Leo, and then into Virgo. This period. Uh, first, I want to thank you for listening and coming back to the message last time. We, light workers, many of us are star seeds. You can check the reading details below. And as Starseed, we have done this ascension before several times at our star origin planets, other star system, Lyra, Vega, Arcturian, Oipicius, Ursa Major, Arcturus, Sirius, Pleiades, Orion, Cassiopeia, Pegasus, Perseus, etc. All those origins have done this ascension before. And now it's the time for the Earth, and we are here to assist with our inner knowledge that we now remind, remind. So trust in yourself and see how much you have done as a light worker the last 20 years for this ascension now give yourself credit for what you have done give yourself time now to change within i have been sleeping three, four days, three, four nights, a lot. Nine, ten hours each night, and it's so great. It's so much changing, so much happening inside, and I'm really flying, the energy is fantastic. Strong, high vibration, joy, energy of change. And I understand many people go through releases, and that's fantastic. Keep going. Allow yourself to change. Allow this ascension to happen. It will happen no matter what, but no, perhaps not. But now we are in a much better position. I think the critical mass is reached, so we are now going into the fifth dimension together, the earth and we here. Thank you, thank you again, and give yourself this self-love. That's so important to be able to create the true you from within. I will draw a rune for this period, the 26th to the 30th of March. Nordic runes. And that's, this one is now, uh, what's that one? Yeah, we'll see. That one is <coughs> coming up this period and that's mm -hmm. I think that one is uh, now that's that's uh, trouble mm -hmm. um, it's about uh, to survive was very important, of course, in the old Nordic times of the Vikings. Uh, <coughs> here. 
And the meaning of this is when you get this rune, Nardits, uh, there is a need, something you have to do, something that has been put aside, something important. Perhaps your own needs. It's a very common trait among compassionate, loving beings to care more about others than about themselves. And that's not working. We, I, you, are love. And we have to give it to ourselves first and create from that. So, and for this period, I also want to draw a quantum tarot card. <coughs> That's 80 cards, quantum physics and tarot together. That one is five of uh, wounds, five of wounds. And what's that? Five of wounds. We'll see. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> It's particle annihilation, a playful conflict, energy struggle full of creative possibilities. Uh, what positive potential is emerging from conflict? What positive con potential is emerging from conflict? And it can be also this, uh, Scorpio, Pluto, strong energy now to transform, die, and rise from the ashes. <coughs> to allow that. So we go into the energies, and that's the transits now. I will start with the 27, 29, put that one, okay. I want to start with the 27th, one minute I will change here. I have to redo this one. It's this program, it's very good, astro.com, highly recommended. So if you have any problems, just uh, check with me, I can help you. We get it working, 27th of March here in Sweden, 12 noon, where <coughs> the sun in quantum I am area six degrees in a trine to the moon and the north node, and also in a square to Mars and Saturn. Spiritual integrity, the Saturn on testing, also giving possibility to manifest, but this inner urge of change and mass your divine masculine energy, the soul warrior here, amplifying this. <clears throat> it's about finding now, Mercury is retrograde, finding, observing, seeing the pattern within healing your own pattern and starting to create from within you, really you, from your soul, create your own reality, stepping out of that, helping others. And the moon, the 27th, will be conjunct 
together with the North Node. Emotional intuition, divine mother, the moon, <coughs> together with the North Node, our collective purpose, what we step into now to become the royal layer, to really shine, to step, go out or leave the small, the person that back talks themselves, the person that diminishes. Now to really credit yourself for what you have done and what you are in your life, in your way, and find the joy not ever judging yourself anymore. <coughs> Take deep breaths and create from your origin in the cosmic Aquarius here. Your ori cosmic origin. Create your own emotional freedom with the Leo shining. And we have a, <coughs> a close 150 degree aspect to Neptune in conjunct to seemingly different energies. The quantum spirit in the quantum spirit, Pisces, the connection with the source can be illusions, but also visions, the formless, to connect that with the illuminator, the royal Leo standing in your own emotional light to really find that togetherness in these integrate these energies in your life and we have Venus coming up to Uranus and Uranus is at Andromeda galaxy here 28 degrees of Aries Andromeda galaxy are our nearby galaxy the closest a little before us in evolution, stars is coming from there helping us and also codes now in this time coming to help us in our ascension. And now the divine feminine, the love planet Venus is here. And this will also give <coughs> sudden insights. How are you treating yourself? What is your love to yourself? What is the quantum I am love of yourself? How much of the divine love do you accept that you are? We are one. We are love. We are shining. Thank you for reflecting that. Thank you for being the light. You can also reveal some hidden secrets because it's in conjunct 150 degrees to Jupiter in Scorpio here. Jupiter's retrograde, also going inward, revealing the secrets under the whale. In a very great sextile to Pluto power aspect. <coughs> Pluto, Scorpio, Mars energy of die, let something leave, and then rise from the ashes as the phoenix. And <coughs> Pisces is on its way up to the fixed star algebra. That's great. So, then the 29th of March, that two days before the full moon, the 31st of March, the 29th of March, the sun will be at 8 degrees and the Mercury now coming closer to the sun in conjunction here. Communication, more observing of yourself. <coughs> and we have Venus and Uranus in a close conjunction here, when the moon is opposite to Neptune, giving dreams, giving a lot of visualization, uh, emotional possibility to connect with the source in a deep way. Uh, <coughs> and it's coming up to a trine to Pluto, but it is in a trine to Mars and Saturn here. 
and of course then also uh, 150 in conjunct to the sun to integrate our life force with our emotions our masculine feminine etc <coughs> unity oneness instead of separation polarity finding the balance the zero point in everything in your life and in my life <coughs> So the 29th of March, yeah, that's also a great day. That's my last working day. I will go in pension. So it's only a couple of days now. And I feel so free. And I will have more, much more time to take care of myself, take care of my daughter Stella, to do this ascension soul warrior work. To create from my world with a totally new freedom for me, not being in the matrix, the ordinary system. So, <clears throat> thank you for listening. Thank you for being who you are. Give credit to yourself. I love me. I love you. Bye bye.